Let us pray. Our Father and Savior Jesus Christ, the maker and creator of all things. This is the servant Freddie from the loins of Loretta and Willie Howard. Two servants who once walked before this earth on you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord, have mercy upon my soul and my trials and my tribulations and the things that I go through here personally on this earth. I thank you, Jesus, for those that are around me and in my life and care about me and love me. I again call out to you, Jesus, to help me in my hour of need, financially, spiritually, and all that I go through as a person here on earth. I thank you, Jesus, for the wood, the trees that once stood in this yard that have been now cut down and harvested for resources to pay bills. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. I thank you for the relationship that I have with uh, Representative Pastor Thomas E. Jackson over at WJDB 95.5 over in Thomasville, Alabama. I thank you for the plaque that he gave Mary and I for 50 years of marriage. I thank you, Jesus, for those things that remind me of his caring and concern for those that he know and move in his spirit of life. Thank you, Jesus, for today. As Mary and I go in and out, to and fro, across this county and, and counties down here, passing out information that the government may count them. Mary receives sources from it, and I thank you that I'm able to drive and be there with her in those times. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus, may the blessing we ask in that Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Just rewards. Evil is pervasive throughout human society. Can people continue to do evil without consequences? Now that question is asked of me. It's asked of you. Jeremiah tells us that God is a God of justice and recompense evil. So if you are doing evil, God will repay. The words are, dear God, as we prepare ourselves for the new day, you have promised we commit by the aid of the Holy Spirit to live out your expectations for righteous living before you and others. In Jesus' name we pray. Land now belongs to Babylon. Jeremiah, the 27th chapter, verses 1 through 11. Signs of the yoke surrounding nations commanded to submit to Nebuchadnezzar. In the beginning of the signs of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, came this word unto Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus said the Lord to me, Make thee bonds and yokes, and put them upon thy neck, and send them to the kings of Eden, and to the kings of Moab, and to the kings of Ammonites, and to the kings of Tyre, and to the kings of Sidon, by the hands of the messengers who come to Jerusalem, to Zedekiah the king of Judah, and command them to say unto thy, thy masters, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Thus shall ye say unto your masters, I have made the earth and the man and the beast that are upon the ground by my great power and by my outstretched arms and have given it unto them whom it seemed right unto me. And now I have given all these hands unto the hands of Nebuchadnezzar for the kings of Babylon, my servant, and thy beasts, the fields, have I given unto thee to serve. Let me read that again. That's verse 6. And now I have given all these lands into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and the beasts of the fields have I given him also to serve thee. And all nations shall serve him and his son and his son's sons until the very time of his land come, and then 
many nations and great kings shall enslave him. And it shall come to pass that the nations and kingdoms that will not serve the same Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, and that will not put their necks under the yoke of this king of Babylon, that nation will I punish, said the Lord with the sword and with famine and with the pestilence until I have consumed them by his hand. Therefore hearken not to your prophets, nor to your diviners, nor to your dreamers, nor to your enchanters, nor to your sorcerers who speak unto you, saying, Ye shall not serve the king of Babylon. For they prophesy a lie unto you to remove you far from your land that I have drive that I shall drive you out, and ye should perish. But the nation that I bring their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, those will I let remain and still in their own land, said the Lord, and they shall till it and dwell there. Land now belongs to Babylon. And God is awesome, isn't it? God can do so. Hmm. Oh, mercy. The lesson. for May the 17th, 2020. It's going to be dealing with just rewards. Just reward. Evil is pervasive throughout human society. Can people continue to do evil without consequences? Jeremiah tells us that God is a God of justice and recompense evil. He will pay you for doing evil. He will pay you Freddie Howard for doing evil. Yes, God will. As we move forward here today in this uh, session for you, we got music planned for you. Troy Sneed, who left us several days ago to a new place, we begin with music from Troy Sneed here on Housey Production Gospel Blog Talk Radio. Twelve songs that run about 55 minutes. All the best of Troy Sneed. Enjoy. Enjoy. We have pushed the button, but uh, nothing is happening. But uh, perhaps it will begin whenever it gets ready. But God is awfully good.
I know I got faith in 